farm today. Um, it's been a couple days since we did the last video when we were preparing for the rain. And we had the rain come in over the weekend and it ended up raining a lot more than what the weathermen said. So uh, we got flooded pretty bad. Um, so everything we've been working on is real soggy and real wet. The uh, last area that we really have to work on as far as clearing to get ready for the fencing um, is over here between us and our neighbor just to the west of us where there's years and years and years of creek wash up that has to be cleaned up as we cut the trees down that have grown up in the fence from all the years of not being taken care of. So right now that's on hold because it's so soft and so muddy that we'll just make a big old mess out of it. Um, so today I got my, my helper Judd here and I think Leah's gonna join us here in a little while and we're gonna go out here and we're gonna work on the, uh, the back fence so what we noticed when we got out there and started clearing um, is that the neighbors have a pretty decent fence to keep their horses in. They've got a nice clear pasture. And it looks like at some point on our side, somebody came in and put a fence on the other side of the trees that were growing in that fence. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna work on trying to take down that old fence so that we can put our new fence up on our side of the trees and uh, as the years go by, we'll go back and we'll take fence down and cut those big trees out that are on our side and have more firewood and whatnot. But so that's what we're gonna try to get done today. I don't know. I don't know how much we'll get done. That, that's all on the high side, so it shouldn't be too soft and too wet. So uh, let's get after it, Judd. You ready? Yeah, I'm right. totally ready. Here we go. So what we have here is an old hose reel that was no good for putting uh, hoses on anymore. So I came up with a bright idea. Let's roll up all this old nasty barbed wire on it. And then it makes it easier to get rid of when we go to haul it off to the scrap metal. But as you can see the other day we had a blowout right here. So we're going to try to try to do a little field repair here. I didn't bring the right tools but... Anyway, wait on, wait on old Farmer Judd to get up here. He's got all the parts to fix it with. Let's we'll see if we can't just make us a repair out here in the field. All right, Farmer Judd, I need those parts. That one's too big, give me the other one. Ah. Fantastic, thank you. I mean, that's gonna work great. Genius! 
squeaky toilet. Not bad for a 79 cent field repair. Right. As you can see, there are two fence lines. One to the others, there's to their pasture, and the other that the one who was here used. So we're gonna take this down, but we gotta be aware, cause you can see some have are in the trees, and now as we keep on here, right here, see all this? This is all just some stuff that grows. And as we keep on, you can see this big tree, it's got that stuff in it, just like the tree that we saw back there. And here is much worse. All these vines covering this. And as we keep on, right there is much, much worse. All these sticks came down. There's a fence bug right there. Down there's a tire. But as we keep on, look. All these are big fat are vines which are not covered in thorns. We just need to clean up all this fed and all that barbed wire and I guess maybe we can might get these uh, these things growing around it off. So we're gonna clear all of it up. All this will go down, and the new fence will grow. Yeah. What? Put up a new fence, and this is going to need. need to, you can see why it's called barbed wire is because it's got all that barbs and stuff. Right there and it's rusted and old this is where we're going to start and we're going to clean it up all from the front all the way to the back
dirty water. Yep. Right, go ahead, go across. Go ahead. Shortcut. What'd you do today, Judd? There's a pile of fencing T posts. I picked each, every one up, and I carried it over to the trailer, which is across the creek and over there. But where was it when you were doing it? It was right over there. In oh, okay, area. where we were working. Yep. All right, so should we go ahead and show everybody what we did today? Yeah. Here we go. So we take a walk down the fence here. There's a gate that's been here. And I'm gonna say that gate's probably been here. Oh, maybe since I was in diapers. I think it's been here a while. I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing out of here. These trees are massive. I don't really wanna take these big trees down. I'm worried that they'll fall the wrong way and Joe will take his fence down and I don't have the room to really strap onto them and pull them over my way. So, we'll figure something out there. That gate may just stay there. Anyway, we come down through here. You can see that there's no fence left. You'll see right here there's a T-post that's grown into the tree. Or the tree's grown into the T-post, however you want to look at it. it. Tells you that there was a fence here. Anyway, it went a lot better than I thought it would. Um, find one here. We ended up cutting a bunch of it. It was like that piece right there that was all grown into it. Judge, you want to point at that piece right there that's still, see that one right there? Yeah. There's another one of those T-posts that's in the tree that I couldn't get out. Anyway, you come right down through here. And then this little stake right here is the uh, corner of the property. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I don't really want to take this big tree down. Again, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it from falling over on the neighbor. But I'm going to have to do something because that corner right there is where a corner of our property is. And I've got to put a big corner post in. And then we'll go from there. So we have the corner of our property there. And then you just look right down the row here. It's hard to tell. There's the sun starting to set here, but meet up with our fence that's across the creek down there so we're gonna have we'll have a lot of work to do but it won't be too bad on this side this side doesn't flood as bad up here um i clean that trash up do something with it and then we'll come back through we're gonna let the goats and the animals clean this up I might come back and cut a bunch of that out. I don't know. It depends on how much time I have and if we get dry days. But we'll come down through here. And then we really start having flooding issues about right here. As you can see all the wash up. So we'll have to do something a little bit different. Figure out a way to brace the fence up right here. And then right about where the stump's at, I'll put in a gate that goes to the neighbors that way if we get an animal out I don't have to cut fences to get them back in so that's where we're kind of at right at the moment but you can see it's still wet and it hasn't rained for three or four days now so that's what we did today anyway I had farmer Judd here out to help me and Leah was out for a little while so we got a bunch done so anyway Yeah, it was a good productive day. Judge, you want to close this out? Yep. Well, thanks for joining us on Greenfield Family Farms, and we hope we can see you again pretty soon. And I hope we get that new fence done. Well, good night to you people, and we'll see you.